Hi guys, welcome! In this video, we'll take a look at all the information for Ragnarok Eternal Love version 2.0 that is coming in the China server early next year. A lot of things are gonna be added such as a new city with farming maps, the new ninja job class, new user interface, and a lot more. Do take note that everything is not yet final and is still subject to change, so take this information with a grain of salt. Alright, without further ado, let's begin. First up, the new city Ek Lodge will be opened in Ragnarok 2.0. In the original ROPC game, Ek Lodge was the home of the fairy race called La Fiends. This city is situated in the Alfheim region, which is connected to Bifrost North Field in the New World. Ek Lodge is a city created around a spirit tree so it is entirely covered with the branches and leaves of the tree. During the day, Ek Lodge is more quiet, with the sun sprinkling down little rays of light through the tree's branches and leaves. At night, the magical creatures living in the place scatter brilliant light to the whole city. It will surely be enchanting to experience the natural beauty and whimsical architecture found in this fairy world. Next, there will be two new farming maps for a clodge called Floating Star Rock and Time Garden. Originally, Floating Star Rock is a small tree hole in the spirit tree. And with the passage of time, the tree hole gradually became lush, showing a brilliant field with a variety of magical creatures. On the other hand, Time Garden, according to legends, is a god-given garden filled with blooming flowers. These two new farming maps will certainly introduce many unique monsters and a number of bosses which we'll tackle once the episode has launched. Next, we have the addition of the new main storyline quest called the Oath of Light and Stars. The story will continue after the Bifrost Bridge was shattered, which was where episode 7.5 left off. In order to pursue the fragment of Ymir's heart, which was stolen by Sarah Irene, the adventurer will accidentally arrive at the new world of Eklaj. The Lafine fairies that live in Eklaj made an oath with the gods of Asgard to guard the Bifrost Bridge for generations. And in fulfilling their duty, the city of Eklaj received the gifts and protection of the gods. However, the destruction of the Bifrost Bridge broke the peace and tranquility of this city. Next, a brand new gameplay map called Palace of Splendide will be launched where you can gradually awaken the hidden power of Bichu and take an adventure in the realm of fairies with him. Not much information has been released regarding this gameplay map. Next, the much-awaited ninja job class will finally be added in RO 2.0. From the novice class, you can advance directly to the ninja second job class. Then you can advance to the third job class which is called Kagero for male and Oboro for female. And then for the fourth job class, it will be called Yachi for male and Amaterasu for female. Although the male and female third and fourth classes are named differently, their skill tree would still be the same unlike the bard and dancer class. You can check the ninja skill tree in the official China server skill simulator link in the description box down below. Based on the skill description, the new ninja class will be able to use either a shuriken or a katana sword type weapon. There are some skills that deal physical damage and some that deal magic damage. Thus, it is more likely that the ninja class will have a physical and magic type build similar to the Super Novice and Dorum class. We'll look more into the ninja class once it has been officially released. Next, a new user interface system will be launched together with the upgrade of map art styles. These changes will bring a fresh and brighter visual experience that will help players adapt to the game environment with ease. RO 2.0 will also introduce new facial expressions, fashion material upgrades, hair colors, and a lot more for a better customization of your character. Next, we have the new character creation interface which shows your character riding a carriage. According to the developers, the carriage symbolizes the never-ending journey that leads players to fun adventures. The new character creation interface also presents a more refined job class detail which helps new players choose a class suitable for their own playstyle. Upon choosing a job class, the carriage will take you to Creatura Academy. Next, speaking of Creatura Academy, this will be the new starting point for players in RO 2.0, which will provide better guidance for the growth of new adventurers. 
Similar to the original ROPC game, the Creator Academy is where every adventurer will begin their journey and understand the basic game mechanics. In the upcoming RO 2.0, the Creator Academy will allow new players to directly advance to base level 120 and the third job with job level 60 in just 30 minutes, and then go straight to fourth job the next day. New players will be given 21 days to learn about the various gameplay mechanics, test the most suitable job, and obtain abundant rewards such as gold medals, academy limited fashion, pets, and a lot more. Thus, new players can start to enjoy the game from a higher starting point. Although the exact details of the rewards that will be given are not yet released, my only concern is that new players might still find it difficult to catch up with the two-year progress of veteran players in terms of zeni and equipment. But hopefully this will truly help new players integrate faster and easier in the world of Ragnarok Eternal Love. Next, a new server called Glorious Domain will open in the China server with the launch of RO 2.0. They have an ongoing pre-registration event which will grant freebies upon reaching certain milestones. The pre-registration benefits include the Little Devil Hat and the Limited Mount Rainbow Pouring Mount. The plan in the new server is to release content gradually so as to not overwhelm new players. For week 1, players will be able to play all contents of Episode 7 patch, including the first Wasteland map. In addition, only daily activities such as Time Rifts and the weekly activity Endless Tower will be opened. On week 2, Cat UFO Invasion will open on Wednesday, followed by Kafra Battle the following week. On week 3, Oracle Easy Difficulty will open first and then a new difficulty will open every after 2 weeks. In addition, Valhalla Ruins, Thanatos Tower Novus difficulty, and Rune System will also be implemented this week. On week 4, Maple Leaf Faramita, 6 vs 6 team competition, and Auction System will be launched. Then on week 5, the first GVG battle will be implemented with War of Imperium on Thursday and War of Crystal on Sunday. Next on week 6, Battle of Cake and Niflheim Purgatory will be opened. Then on week 8, all contents of RO 2.0 will be released. In addition, players will get to experience the Natus Tower Warrior difficulty and 12 vs 12 Holy Ground War Season Mode. And on week 9, Echoing Corridor and Rune Star function will be implemented. The staggered release of content will surely make players on the new server more excited about RO 2.0. I'm hoping that a new server will also be added in the sea and global versions to somehow bring back the same amount of popularity the game had before. And lastly, the developers have hinted in a trailer that a PC client will be available for RO 2.0. I guess with the success of new games that support crossplay across different devices, it would be a very good decision to allow players to have an option to play in either mobile or PC. You can play RO on the go with your smartphone but also have the option to play at home on your PC. Alright, so far we've gone through all the information we know so far about Ragnarok Eternal Love version 2.0. I'm really looking forward to this new version so that both new and returning players can come back and integrate into the game with ease. Feel free to comment down below which part of RO 2.0 are you most excited about. Alright, that's it for this video guys. Don't forget to like if you enjoyed watching this video. If you're new here, I would love you to consider subscribing by hitting the red subscribe button down below. I would love to have you back. Thank you for watching and see you in our next episode.